So if you're eating and you see a pile of bones begin to mount in front of you, you have pretty good feedback about the volume of food you've eaten. In the All You Eat study, uh, when the wait staff was clearing away the bones, those people didn't have any feedback, and so they ate about 20% more. The pile of bones in front of you makes you think, my goodness, I must have eaten all those wings, so maybe I should stop eating. Another thing that happens is people eat too much when they're sitting around the table with their family or their friends because they're talking, enjoying the conversation, and they're not focusing on the eating. Uh, I'm going to say from the research, if you really want to keep track of what you're eating and, and, and control yourself, the, the best way to do it would be uh, to sit in front of a mirror and eat, eat there looking at yourself. I know nobody does that, but that would be the ideal. You'd probably really enjoy the meal too. You would taste every bite and, uh, and be, be totally aware, and you wouldn't overeat. Anyway, the point is monitoring uh, is important and effective. The third and final uh, component of self-control is, is willpower. Uh, this is a complicated thing. I'm not going to go into all the dynamics of it now. But it seems like, as the term willpower implies, people have a limited energy supply. Uh, and so when they exert their willpower, then temporarily it's, it's uh, reduced or depleted until it uh, recharges. So dieters, sure enough, when their willpower is low, uh, they will eat more. And it may be low because they've been resisting other temptations. Or it could be, could be low because they've had a hard day at work or problems in their romantic relationship and other things are draining their willpower, other challenges. Uh, but whatever takes away their ener mental energy, then they don't have as much uh, energy uh, to resist. Uh, so low willpower undermines your ability to re reduce uh, uh, your food intake. Uh, there's also uh, evidence uh, that when you're on a diet, you'll be less successful at uh, quitting smoking because smoking takes willpower uh, and uh, dieting takes willpower. If you're trying to do both, you can't do uh, these as effectively as well. So um, when uh, ordinary people, uh, they don't necessarily eat more. In other words, people who are not dieting. Uh, don't necessarily eat more uh, when their willpower is down because they're not normally trying to inhibit it. Uh, but dieters who are trying to restrain their eating, uh, the, in the energy for the inhibition is down when their willpower is weaker. There's certainly a lot more we could say about the self, uh, but understanding self-esteem self and self-control are two of the important foundations of it. And as I've said, we've invested a lot more energy in studying self-esteem uh, but in the last 20 years, there's been a big shift to move more and more to study self-control uh, because that ultimately has considerably more power to help individuals and help society.